Welcome back to the Tardarium Hanger. This is Mike, and today I want to talk to you about eBay scammers and how to avoid getting scammed on eBay. A lot of you have asked me to make a follow-up video to my eBay red flags video. And I'm going to cover all those points, but I feel like that video was not as edited as well as it should be. And this is going to be a more concise video. We're going to cover all that and then get into 2021 issues and beyond and talk about what's going on today. So we're going to talk about all this stuff and how to keep you safe on eBay coming up. So before we get into all this, I want to say that eBay is doing better screening out these scammers or ending the scammers as soon as they, they turn rogue. We're going to talk about the rogue concept here in a little bit. But I want to say that now there's different scams they're trying to pull and different angles and ways we're trying to go about it. We're going to talk about all of this, but I think eBay is staying on top of it better than ever now that they've done the payment management process where they are basically trying to be everything in itself with the payments and and the credit card payments and running those and getting rid of PayPal in a way. Seems like scammers are getting shut down quicker and there's there's a lot more that they're doing to eliminate these hackers from hacking eBay accounts. Now there's a lot of stuff going on right now where they hack eBay accounts through Instagram and a lot of stuff when they get your actual email. So be very safe with your email. Before we get into any of this, be careful who you give your email to because it's a big deal. And, and if you don't realize it, you take your account over and just start selling. Even if you don't sell at all, they can start selling on your account and that might be a problem. So the first red flag and the first thing that really should should make you wonder is this seller legit a lot of private sales so when you look at their feedback and of course most of what you investigate is feedback when you look at the feedback they get a lot of positives from private sales private sales that you can't go look at the item you can't look and see is this a legitimate sell and that in itself is a giant red flag and it's scary in a way so private feedback private items private listings this is a major major red flag and most of the time this is a precursor to an account going rogue this is a precursor to saying they're about to be scammers and there's a big reason why and i'm going to talk about that the next one why they do this why are they doing this why are they pumping up this fake feedback as positives through private accounts and private listings we'll talk about that so the next one we're going to talk about is length of time on ebay so there's a big importance to say did they just open this account has this account been open for three years has it been open for 10 years how long has this account been open you can just simply click on the name of the seller and you'll have all that information so why is this important well a lot of the time there's a probationary period for most new sellers even if you've been on ebay for a little while as a buyer a probationary period is going to be set up if you start selling so it's a big deal to see how long they've been on ebay are they still in a probationary period could they go through this rogue phase where they just stop being legitimate and they start being a scammer so this is a big part of it so what happens is more or less they sell their account to a scammer a legitimate seller stops selling starts a new account stays legitimate sells their legitimate account to a scammer and they're not going to get in trouble the scammer is going to get the money run away and well guess what they're just going to get away with it and ebay takes a loss and you take two three four month wait to get your money back so the next thing i want to talk about is the use of stock pictures so this is a big issue when they use stock pictures and in my last video i talked about how they have a bunch of the same item with the same picture but stock pictures and somebody pointed out in my comments stock pictures are a big telltale sign that there might be something wrong so now we're starting to look at this one specific auction here this is a stock picture of a transformer and it doesn't show the actual item it doesn't show the box condition of the box doesn't show the figure 
condition of the figure or any of that kind of stuff. It doesn't matter. It could be a Fendi handbag. It could be a Michael Kors handbag. I guess my wife talks about this stuff too much. But all of this stuff still is the same issue if it shows a stock picture, not the actual item. That's a giant red flag, possibly a scammer. You need to be concerned about that. So next up is the obvious that everyone looks at. Negative feedback, number of negative feedbacks. Now, there's a lot of things to look at when it comes to the negative feedback. First off, what specifically are these people saying about this seller? A rogue, uh, whatever, got my cash back. Thank you, eBay. He should be struck off. All these people leaving these comments are a red flag, but most of the time, these comments show up after you've placed your order and waited two, three weeks, a month, a month and a half, and then these start showing up, and then you're one of those adding to it. So how does this help you? Well, still always check feedback. If they're not 100%, go find the one or 2% and why are they not 100%? If it's legitimate, like you could see that somebody had a problem, like they got it and they weren't happy with it. They actually got the item, they got what they ordered, but they just weren't happy with it. That's different than a scammer who's legitimately trying to sell you a trinket, but they're saying that they're giving you the world. So the next thing I want to talk about is when you are bidding on an auction. So most of my purchases are through buy it now because I don't want to wait six days or eight days. But if I do wait, the payoff usually is half the price because I'm waiting and I'm going to bid at the end of the auction and hopefully get it for half of the price of buy it now. But if I buy something, buy it now, there are some other concerns that I have. And that's going back to these private auctions. But some of these biddings, these bidders, well, they are ghost accounts of the actual seller. So when you look at it, you can click on that that bid. Somebody just bid. And you can find out the percentage of bids towards that actual seller. And that's Im important information. And I think that's relatively new within the last couple of years. So with that, they will bid you up. So if you don't wait till the last minute to bid, and you throw a bid in a week ahead or two days ahead or even 30 minutes ahead, these other unscrupulous sellers can start bidding you up and with their ghost account. This is a ghost account taking you up to your maximum. And then here's another telltale sign. Second chance offers, 90% of check, second chance offers come from scammer eBay sellers. You ever had a second chance offer? Look at that seller. I guarantee they're a scammer. So lately, I just want to let you know about one of the scams. The, one of the most popular items to scam on is a modern gaming console. And by the way, the PS5 has been out for over a year now, and it's still almost impossible to find at retail or online unless you're buying it secondhand. Secondhand, they're selling it for crazy amounts. So when you look and you see that like a PS5 is selling for 400 below MSRP, that's crazy. That's probably a scammer going on right there. So this is one of the things that was pointed out to me is that the game consoles are probably the biggest area opportunity for scams. So there's multiple. They will somewhere in there call it the picture version, the P version, there's the box version, all of this stuff going on, empty box, no console at the very bottom. At least they're up front with this empty box and they're up front with the price. But a lot of these are scammers that are going to send you an empty box, they're going to send you a picture, and they're going to hide behind a technicality, so you need to read the entire description. Not just the title, not just the attractive price, because this day and age, sellers are actually being supported more than buyers. Two years ago, buyers were supported more than sellers, but if sellers cross their T's, dot their I's, they start to win. So anyway, I'm just kind of curious, how many of you have fallen victim to any of these eBay scammers, these eBay scams. Will this be helpful for you to identify if something you're gonna buy is possibly a scammed item? Nowadays, with retail, little hit and miss, it's a lot harder to get stuff today than it was two years ago when I made my first Red Flags video. I'd like to know if this was helpful to you. If it was, please leave a comment below, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Of course, Tidarium Hanger, out.